Ah, yes. Mm. Ah, soothing tea for my still rough, rough voice. Welcome to Pico 8 Hero. Welcome to our little series where we make a breakout clone with a Pico 8 engine. And we are motoring through our um, through our uh, through our goals list, through our to-do list. We're adding some new stuff to the bottom of the to-do list. But you know what? There's not too much left. Cool. So um, today is we want to uh, deal with speed down, um, with the speed down. Mm, we call it um, the power up, the pickup speed down. And we also maybe uh, if we're going to have time, we're also going to deal with the mega ball. First, let us do maybe the speed down. How about that? Right, so speed down, speed down, speed down. So let me see, 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 let me see. First of all, I realized last time around when we implemented a power up, we um, I realized that we didn't have the time set for every power up. And for a speed down, that will be slow down. There we go. Um, that's going to be, um, we're going to set it to 902 and, you know, we're going to tweak the 900 later on. That's going to be fine. Um, let me, let me set the time just for everybody 900 as well here and multiball as well. Actually, multiball might be something that we're going to just keep around forever. Not sure. Just, you know, just going to get three balls and when you lose the balls, you know, then your last so you're, you're down to your last ball and that's going to be your last so multiple would stack with other upgrades might be might be interesting maybe i'm going to keep it at 900 around um, for now and then i'm going to think about this so the power up is going to be uh, number one and i'm going to go to them i have our update function our update function is going to be really fat and juicy now um because we're going to start thinking about all those things now we're going to add all those functionality to this so here's regular ball physics this is where where um where our where the power up will will um, will apply we're just going to take them and we're going to just make them a bit slower so let's go let's it's, the ball will also the movement of the ball will get a little bit janky will get a little bit uh, unsmooth but um but whatever let's try this um so we might so there's two ways of doing this we could of course be like let's just do a multiplier the way we do it with points but i think in this case we don't have to do um, a multiplier a special variable because there's just one point in our code where we even move the ball so i think we can just get away with uh if what was it power up equals one power up equals one then um, change the position of the ball and else change the position of the ball and of course right now it's the same content but we're gonna fix it right away and and so um, yeah so here is we're just gonna divide it by And that's kind of nice because uh, it, it's kind of like agnostic to um, how, however the ball is moving currently. Like if it's moving at some kind of angle, it doesn't care. It's just slower. Uh, and maybe this will just work and then that's going to be it. Oh yeah, by the way, I also wanted to uh, make sure that it only spawns this specific upgrade. Uh, pow power up, I guess, is what I wanted to see. Okay, so this is S and we can see the ball gets slower. Ah, yeah. Yes, that's good. I kind of like how the up, um, how the other power ups are still going pretty fast. And I think for this one, it's especially important to um, track how long this power up is already going because if the ball starts going faster again in a second here, yeah, now it's going faster. So like the, the sudden acceleration might be a, might be an issue. Okay, so this is fine. This I think this already works. We don't need need to do anything about this. So another check mark on our list on our to do list. This might be a short episode if, if we do if we do do well. 
So the only thing left is Mega Ball. Mega Ball. La let us think about the Mega Ball. So basically what the Mega Ball does is every time a ball would reflect from a brick, it won't reflect from the brick. And I think it's fair to say that the Mega Ball should also destroy the bricks that are hardened. I think if the Mega Ball didn't destroy bricks that are hardened, that would feel not really Mega. Because then you know, what happens, right? Because there's a brick and you hit it and the brick doesn't disappear, but also the ball will continue going through the brick. That would make no, that would make no sense. So, <clears throat> so it's kind of like an unstoppable force and immovable object situation. So let me, let me, let me look at this in, in specific. So where is it? This is, um, this is not something that we're going to deal with right now, but, um, This is hit brick. We're gonna go there real quick, but first I want to see what the number is of this update, uh, this um, power up. The, there we go, mega ball. There it is. It's number six. Let's copy number six. Um, right. I want to spawn it always now. I always forget when I, where I go. I have to go down or up. Nope, I'm too far. Where is it? I'm a bit lost. Ah, there we go. In spawn pill, we're gonna always spawn a mega ball now. <clears throat> okay, but this is just, you know, setup. This is just a simple stuff. Okay, check if ball hit brick. That's good. If not, okay, brick hit is true. Okay, so apparently we deal with the brick in a hit brick situation we deal with, with reflections or are we no we are not ah yeah there are, yeah okay so here we deflect, we always deflect the ball now. That's the problem, we always deflect the ball. But now it's like depending on, depending on what kind of brick we hit, we might not deflect the ball. I think the only one that is, the one that we should not deflect um, is the one where we, um, the indestructible one is the only one. Okay, so if power up is, n how are we going to do this? Power up equals six. And Um, so now we're going to check the type, uh, as we said, like the only one is the indestructible one that is interesting for us, or actually, I guess not interesting for us. Um, there we go. Um, so brick T I is what we're looking for. Do we have, yeah, yeah. I think I is the indestructible one. So if brick, yeah, this one. Um, right. So where were we? Back to our to to our brick hit situation. Okay. So if not brick hit, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's do like a two embedded if statements. So this is going to be like an if statement here. We're going to put, make sure that everything inside here is inside this. If power up equals six and brick a T, do we know how, which brick we hit? Yeah. I it's I brick T I equals, um, six uh, equals I or power up not equals six. 
and it's a long statement so maybe I will split it into into multiple lines then right so like this oops so there's two cases either the mega ball is on and in which case we're only going to reflect when the brick that we hit is actually indestructible that's the, the that's the two upper statements that we have power up equals six we have the power um the mega ball and the brick is indestructible or we don't have the mega ball in which case we always deflect So if those one of those two states, if one of those two statements is true, that there, that's why we have the or here, then uh, there's the deflection going on, and so the only thing no one thing left to do is to make sure that this interacts correctly with with hardened bricks because hardened bricks here. So if power up equals is equals six then else and, and we're gonna copy this here so this is when the power up is not six and if it is six then it should basically behave like a normal thing in which case we um let's get this guy out here and put it in here and then we're just going to copy i guess all of this stuff yeah and put it in here <clears throat> so this is a bit of a code that we repeat a little bit maybe you should make a function out of it but basic this code basically is the behavior of a normal brick we play as a um, chain sound we um set it to invisible we um and if the combo should be counted then we add the combo and combo and so forth and points and so, so forth and if the the power up is not on then it will just turn into normal brick but we know that the ball will get reflected okay so let me try this Yeah, and there it goes. It just goes like butter through those bricks. That's good. So let me try to build a level that consists of indestructible bricks and also the hardened bricks. I think this is going to be more interesting. So first, let's go with hardened ones. So there's normal bricks in the top, but let's make them hardened for now. Because it should also go through those bricks as if... Let me let me first check that the hardened bricks are working as intended. Oh, I actually picked up already the power up accidentally. <laughs> okay, let's, let's try to hit them without the power up. There we go. And the power up. Yeah, close. Okay, so hardened works. Let's try with indestructible ones. So if I make them indestructible, we should have normal reflections no matter if we pick them up or not. Yeah. That's good. Cool, and that's basically it. That's basically what all what you wanted. Um, let me reset this to normal bricks. So that was Mega Ball. So the next part is going to be Multi Ball, and Multi Ball, you know, we have some time left. Uh, so Multi Ball is something we're going to have to think about because with Multi Ball. Um, you know, all of our code, a lot of our code is actually expecting us to only have one ball. Um, so, you know, you have stuff like, especially an update function. This update function has grown to be really, really big and maybe one split apart multiple, multiple functions. 
Um, because for example, we have here uh, where we're checking if the if the ball hit a brick. Um, he, uh, okay, this is this is not normal, but uh, we also check it if you know we move the ball. We have like this whole next x a situation where did we do this? Uh, it looks weird now. Yeah, next x. No, 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 not this one. Uh, I'm trying to read the code. It's, there we go. There's like where we do the regular thing where we have like a special variable called next x and next y for where the ball is going to be on the next position and so forth. And I already teased how maybe we're going to even have keep track of where the ball is uh, in each individual frame so we can reverse engineer, you know, uh, the trajectory of the ball later on and stuff like that. There's a lot of information that's riding on, on ball, on the ball. And so if you want to have multiple balls, there's going to be, you have to, we have to create like a lot of, um, of arrays to do this. And we already know that this is, this is, can be, can get out of hand really quickly because we already did this with, with bricks, right? We have four, um, four arrays for, to describe just four characteristics, characteristics of the bricks with a ball. We at least need four because we have X position, Y position, um, trajectory and so on dx and dy we have maybe if it's visible or not so that's at five um then what else yeah then we need i guess an array of arrays so to speak to track like the where it was previously there's like a lot of things that will happen with the ball and so i'm thinking this might be a good situation to actually cave in i wanted actually in this first tutorial series to not to get into objects but it might be worthwhile to get in objects now especially since after this we also want to maybe do particle systems and i don't see myself doing particle systems without objects so it's kind of like a long-winded explanation of why i think next episode is going to be all about objects we're going to make a small break from here we're going to save this we're going to make a small break and we're going to do the next episode all all about just explaining how objects work how um why do we want to have objects? Why is it such a big deal to have objects? And why are they useful? Why we need objects in this specific situation? Cool. So if you guys have any, any questions so far, if you want me to do some anything, if you have some something that doesn't work for you guys, as always, post in the comment sections. And otherwise, see you next time around. Bye-bye.